most of the time we come across complex numbers in the form z is equal to a plus b iota however there are alternate forms which are very useful at times it's normally much easier to multiply divide and find powers or roots of complex numbers if they are expressed in these form hello everyone my name is arun kashish in this video we find ways to represent complex numbers in polar form geometrically as well as analytically there are two ways to represent a complex number in a plane which is also called argand plane first is a standard method in which we represent it by a point like 3 plus 4 iota it is represented by this point 3 comma 4 this form is called cartesian form or rectangular form now there is another way of representing this complex number we can represent it by a vector whose magnitude is mod of z and direction is given by argument of z argument of z is the angle which the vector makes with the positive direction of x axis in the anti clockwise sense let mod z be equal to r and argument of z be pi then a vector representing z is of length r and the angle which it traces with the positive direction of x axis is phi therefore we can trace this vector z it is of length r we like this and traces angle phi with the positive direction of x axis in the anti clockwise sense so this vector is representing z its magnitude is r and direction is given by this angle phi this point is representing z let this point be x comma y it is equal to our complex number z is equal to x plus iota y now we drop a perpendicular from this point on x axis so we have this length is x and this length is y now using trigonometric ratios in this triangle we get x upon r is equal to cos phi and y upon r equals to sin phi and from this relation we get x is equal to r cos phi and y is equal to r sin phi therefore our complex number z will be equal to r cos phi plus iota r sin phi that is z is equal to r times cos phi plus iota sin phi this is called polar form of the complex number so if we want to write z is equal to x plus iota y in the polar form we write x is equal to r cos phi and y is equal to r sin phi now squaring and adding these two expressions what we get is x square plus y square equals to r square therefore we get r equal to And root of x square plus y square. Now put this value of r in this expression and get the value of phi, which is our argument of z, and then write z is equal to r times cos phi plus iota sin phi, which is the polar form of this complex. In short form, this polar form is written as. R cis phi. It is the abbreviated form of this polar form. We call R and phi as the polar coordinates of the complex number. If these coordinates are given, then by using this formula, 
we can find the standard form of this complex number z is equal to x plus omega y. Now let us solve some problems. But before that, we recall the definition of the term argument z. Argument of complex numbers, it is the angle phi from the positive real axis to the vector representing z. Its numeric value is given by the angles in radians. It is positive if measured counterclockwise and negative if measured in clockwise sense. Argument z can have infinite possible values. This is because if theta is an argument of z, then 2 and pi plus theta is a valid argument. But to be more specific, we define a unique value called principal argument of z. It is in the interval minus pi to pi. It has unique value for a given complex number z. This we have discussed in the previous video. Polar form of z is equal to 3 iota. Let us first do these questions graphically. We form a vector representing z is equal to 3 iota. It is this vector. It makes an angle of 90 degrees that is pi by 2 with the positive direction of x axis and its length is 3 units. Therefore, r is equal to 3 and phi is equal to pi by 2. Therefore, z in polar form is 3 times cos pi by 2 plus iota sine pi by 2. For z is equal to minus 4, its vector is from 0 to minus 4. Now, this vector makes an angle of pi with the positive direction of x axis. Therefore, its argument is pi and its modulus is 4. So, r is 4 and pi is 5. So, its polar form in short is 4 cis which is equivalent to writing 4 times cos pi plus iota sin. Z is equal to minus 3 iota. Vector representing minus 3 iota is starting from region to the point minus 3 iota. Its length is 3 units and it makes an angle of pi by 2 in the clockwise sense. It is measured and in clockwise sense therefore we take with negative sign. So r is 3, phi is minus pi by 2, polar form is z is equal to 3 times cis minus pi by 2 which is z is equal to 3 times cos pi by 2 minus iota sin pi by 2. In this case, if we measure the angle from the anti-clockwise sense, then our argument value is 3 pi by 2. So we can write phi as 3 pi by 2 also. Therefore, polar form in this case will be z equals to 3 times cis 3 pi by 2. z is equal to 2 plus 2 iota. 2 plus 2 iota is equivalent to 2 comma 2. So it is represented by the point 2 comma 2 in this argon plane. 
vector representing z is this vector now from 2 comma 2 will drop a perpendicular on real axis this length is 2 units this length is 2 units and using Pythagoras theorem in this right triangle we can find that this length is 2 root 2 angle phi which this vector makes with the positive real axis is now from this triangle we have 2 upon equals to 1 upon root 2 this means phi is 45 degrees or 5 by 4 therefore r is equal to 2 root 2 so z is equal to 2 root 2 times cos pi by 4 plus sin of n pi by 4 is the polar form now we do these questions analytically now let us try some examples write z is equal to 3 plus root theta in polar form here our x is equal to 3 and y is root 3 now use x is equal to r cos phi and y is equal to r sin phi therefore r is equal to root x square plus y square which is equal to 2 root 3 and then x upon r is equal to cos phi and y upon r equal to sin phi implies cos phi is equal to root 3 by 2 sin phi is equal to 1 upon 2 implies phi is 30 degrees that is phi is equal to phi by 6 therefore its polar form is z equals z is equal to 2 root 3 times 6 pi by 6 next question z is equal to minus root 3 plus 3 iota here x is minus root 3 and y is 3 therefore x is equal to r cos phi and y is equal to r sin phi implies r is equal to x square plus y square under root so cos phi equal to minus 1 by 2 and sin phi equal to root 3 by 2. So cos phi is negative and sin phi is positive. Therefore phi lies in the second quadrant. Therefore the value of phi satisfying both these equations is phi is equal to phi minus phi by 3 as it is in second quadrant. Therefore, the polar form is z is equal to sine 2 pi by 3. Let us discuss some more problems. Write minus 2 minus 2 at a polar form. Here x is minus 2 and y is minus 2. Now x is equal to r cos phi and y is equal to r sin phi implies r is under root of x k plus y k. So putting the values of x and y we get r is equal to 2 root 2. And now using this equation again we have x upon r is cos phi and y upon r is equal to sin phi. This implies cos phi is minus 1 by root 2 and sin phi is also minus 1 by root 2. Now cos phi and sin phi are both negative phi lies in the third quadrant therefore phi is equal to pi plus pi by 4 which is pi pi by 4 so 
we have r is equal to 2 root 2 and phi is equal to 5 pi by 4 and the polar form is given by z is equal to r times cos phi plus iota sin phi so its polar form is 2 root 2 times cos phi pi by 4 plus iota sin phi pi by 4 minus pi by 3 we get the polar form of this number as 2 root 2 times cos of minus pi by 3 plus iota sin of minus pi by 3 please like and subscribe my channel to boost me up and encourage me to make such videos thank you